atmosphere. Amen. Let's press into the atmosphere to the point that this church that's being planted here will not be the same after these two days. Amen. And the way we do that is simply by worship. Now, I know there's no pressure, but for those who just love God, I want you to just raise your hands and begin to just love on the Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Just begin to worship Him. Say, Lord, if you love Him, just begin to tell God, Lord, I love you. Hallelujah. Just begin to glorify him. Say, Lord, I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. The song simply says, Oh, the glory. Thank you, Lord. Oh, your presence. Thank you. Says we, we your temple. Simply says, Oh, the glory of your presence. We, your temple, give you reverence. So arise to your rest and be blessed. By our praise and your glory now fills this place. Praises to 
He said, no, Ernest, I can't run you faster than me. That's right. I said, Rodney, I'm only faster than you because you think I'm faster than you. <laughs> you got the same blood I got. Right. I guarantee you, you could beat me. He said, oh, no, no, Ernest, running is your thing. That's right. <laughs> you know, I'll do the baseball thing. I said, no, you're going to race me. 
So we race. Beat them the first time. We race again. Beat them the second time. Oh man, I'm not going to beat you. I said, Brian, you can beat me. The third time, he beat me. We were clocked. That joker ran a 9.5, I ran a 9.6 or 9.7. We were moving. We were moving. I told him he could beat me. Because he got my blood. Everybody in here, we have each other's blood because we let go and let God in our life. We decided one day that we had enough of this world. We're not going to put up with this world anymore. We took everything down. We begin to trust and believe in God. And as we begin to trust and believe in God, God begin to bless us because we begin to let go of all the things we thought we knew. We, knew, we thought we knew something. Yes. Until, until we stopped and we started believing and trusting in God yes. and trusting in His Word. Uh, Pastor Robin, yes, uh, I, I need you to get. I need you to get a mic. Praise the Lord! Thank you, Jesus! Thank you, Jesus! Thank you, Jesus! Thank you, Jesus! Thank you, Lord! Thank you, Lord! Thank you, Lord! Thank you, Jesus! Thank you, Jesus! Thank you, Lord! I'm gonna let you know when you're coming in. Uh, you can play. Just, just listen. Just listen to the words. On this one, you might have to do it by sound. Mm -hmm. But just wait. Hold on. Be patient. <laughs> Praise the Lord, sister. Now, you got to understand something about me. Jesus, thank you, Jesus. That's why my heart is filled with praise. Thank you, Jesus. I love you. I love you. I love you, Lord, today because you care for me in such a special way. That's why I praise you. I lift you up and I magnify your name. Hey, that's why. With praise. That's right. Next verse. My Lord. Thank you, Jesus. My mind. Thank you, Jesus. My soul belongs to you. Thank you, Jesus. Just let it go. You paid the price. He paid the price. Thank you, Jesus. Way back the Calvary. All you have to do. Lord, let go. You let go in your life. I lift you. Stop now. Lord Jesus, not 
what they want to be, but what you want them to be, Lord. Come out. Have your hands of protection over them and over their lives, Lord. Protect them in their coming and their going, Lord Jesus. Oh, Lord, each and every person in this place, Lord. Remember, Pastor Jesus, Ryan, and Pastor Robert, Lord Jesus. Remember Pastor Ryan's wife, Lord, cover her, bless her, spiritually and financially, Lord Jesus. The pianist, Lord. Have your hands of protection over him, Lord. Bless him in a very special way. Jesus. Let him find a word. And let everybody in this room find a word. Lord, I'm asking you right now, Lord, to cover each and every person in this place, in this house today. Grant them the desires of their heart, Lord Jesus. There's something in their mind that they want. Yes. Whether it be a better job, whether it be more money, or whether it just be the right person that they could communicate, Lord Jesus. I'm asking you right now, Lord, to bless them in a very special way and grant the desires of their heart. Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And remember, Lord Jesus, First Lady Brenda, strength and encourage her. the hands of protection over her. Continue to guide her, Lord. Oh, Lord, give her strength, Lord Jesus. Give her strength. My children, Trishana, Ernest, and their children, Bless them. And the head to protection over them. Exodus 17 chapter. Exodus the 17 chapter. I'm going to attempt to start at the 8th verse. That's what I'm going to attempt to do. Now I don't know what the Lord going to tell me to do. But I'm going to attempt to start at the 8th verse. In the process of me reading the word of God. Starting at the 8th verse. Yeah. Things may change. Yeah. I might start talking about something else because in the middle of me listening to God, he might have another word for somebody else that's in this room. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Believe and trust in this name. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Then came Amalek. If I'm correct on that word. Amalek. Amalek. And fought with the Israels. And what's that word, Rebbelin? Rebbelin. I am articulate, but there are some that know these words a little better than me. Is if you would, they have individuals and people in our lives that feel like they have a PhD education life, if you would. And they think they know more words than I do. But what they didn't tell you is the words that they use are not even English. <laughs> they Latin, they Greek. My Lord, some of them even might be Chinese. <laughs> so they speak in 17 different languages in one sentence and they think they know something. I know somebody. My God. But I'm going to say it like I see it. Jesus. Jesus. And Moses said unto Joshua, choose us out men and go out, fight with Amalek. Tomorrow I will stand at the top of the hill with the rod of God in my hands. The 10th verse. So Joshua did as Moses had said to him. And he fought with Amalek and Moses, Aaron, and Hur went up to the top of the hill. The 11th verse. And it came to pass when Moses held up his hands. Yes, Lord. Yes. Can we lift up holy hands right now? Yes. Can we lift up holy hands and believe and trust in God? Can we let go of all the sorrows that we have? Yes. If you have a bill at home, don't think about that bill. Think about the Lord right now. Yes. If you have a kid that's not acting right, don't think about that kid. You need to think about the Lord. You need to trust and believe in His Word. Because right now, He is ready to give you a blessing. If you you cannot get the blessing if you think in bank in Louisiana. Yeah. You cannot get the blessing if you thinking about Florida. You know how the people came to Jesus and they told them, well, what about this and what about that? And Jesus said, don't worry. 
about all those things? Are you worried about the birds or the trees or the leaves or a uh, uh, shoot or what somebody doing? Don't worry about that. Yes. They'll take care of itself. Yes. Look, if you don't have no money now, you're not gonna have no money when you get back. But let me tell you something. If you focus everything in your being in this service today, God's gonna bless you. Yes. You gotta let go and let go. Yeah. If you have these hands up, these hands going to give you something that God going to give to me and it's going to shoot back to you. Yeah. You just have to believe in his word. Yeah. You got to believe it, that he is what you need. Yeah. need you. Yeah. And you need him the more. Yeah. You don't understand that. He needs you because he enjoy your praise. Yeah. He needs you because he enjoy your praise. When you hold your hands up, and I'm going to talk about that more. Just remember that. Remember the story. Hold your hands up. We're holding the hands up for a reason. We're holding the hands up because we're going to have victory. We're holding the hands up because we're going to be blessed. We're holding the hands up because we're going to let go and let go in our life today. And this is a word that everybody in this room should know. That monkey got on my back. <laughs> it got on my back. My legs were tight as I don't know what. Yeah. I was running and running. I, I, I didn't stop, but I was running the slope. Y'all saw a six million dollar man? <laughs> dun, 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 dun. I was a six million dollar man, y'all. <laughs> Crossing that finish line. I think I came to third place. But almost two people caught me. But Moses' hands were heavy. And they took a stone. They took a stone. And they put it under him. And he sat there on. And Aaron and her, uh, they shaved up his hands. The one on one side and the other on the other side. Yes. And his hands were steady until the going down of the sun. My God. Now why do you think he had his hands up? So long as he had his hands up, the Israelites were winning. That's right. But when his hands were lowered, the Israelites were losing. Mm -hmm. The Amalites. So they said, wait a minute, hold a water, a coffee, and a tea. We're going to get this man hands up. Hands up. That's you right. You know, sure, because we got we to gotta get this glory. We got to win this fight. Amen. We got to win this thing. Amen. Let me tell you a story. I did everything I can to be here today. Everything. I've been talking about this time yeah. for a very long time. I've been praying about it. Yeah. I've been believing and trusting in God about it. I've been doing everything in my power to be here today. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you something. I spent a lot of money, but it was worth every nickel. I spent some more. I'm ready to spend some more. You know, people talk about, they, they always tell you, hold on, you don't have to pay your tithes. Maybe you don't. <laughs> Maybe you don't. I don't know. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to pay my tithes. Right. You, you can have it. If you don't pay that, you can have got millions and billions and trillions of dollars. And you won't go to church and pay a measly 10%. Mark. You won't. But you would, you would either, one, let the government take 34%, and I'd probably for it. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Amen, amen. But do you know, if you are a millionaire, you pay 10% of the church, they're going to leave you alone. That's Did you right. know that? That's, amen. Right. Amen. That's why you think all these poor got my charity. That's my charity. I pay my charity. They probably pay the 10% to their charity. That's right. But these folk will not pay for church. 
God gave you this. The only reason why you're alive because God. Amen. But you're going to give it right back to that. What the world wrong with you? <laughs> you got problems. That's right. 34%. Got all this money and won't give it to the church. My God. And then they argue and say, all oh, the churches, every church is not like that. Amen. Amen. It's not. Amen. 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 We believe and trust in God. We want everybody to be saved. Amen. We don't want this boy. I'm going to pick it you. No, we want everybody to be saved. But you see, look, let me tell you something about Pastor Ernest Lincoln. I don't have time to argue with Jehovah's Witnesses. Right. I don't have time to argue with Yahweh. I'm moving too fast. Right. You don't understand what I'm saying. When I ran track, I moved fast. Now when I'm running, I'm moving even faster. Okay. And I believe in the truck in the world. And I'm not going to stop. I just started. Yeah. And you know something? I'm going to tell you something else about this thing, about being a minister, preacher, teacher, whatnot. Yes, sir. Lord have mercy. I, didn't, I had no idea it was like this. <laughs> Lord! Woo! Do you know when a real preacher began to preach? Yes, sir. And a real preacher began to get on his knees and read this? Lord, I, I, knew, I knew I had the Holy Ghost and everything. I knew I was trying to serve the Lord. I thought I was trying to serve the Lord. But Lord have mercy. When God called me to preach, yes, yes. Let me tell you something. And people argue. Oh, I want to be like uh, Samson and be the strongest man in the world. I want to be like uh, Solomon and be the wisest man in the world. I want to be like Ernest and be stronger than Samson. Amen. I want to be like Ernest and be smarter than Solomon. I don't care what they said. Oh, he's the, he's the wisest back then. He's going to be the wisest ever. If he was so wise, why he had all those women? God said one wife. Let every man have one wife and every woman have one wife. Yeah. I didn't hold back when I ran track. I didn't hold back when I was young and I had to get. Let me tell you something. Today, tonight. Let me tell you something tonight. Y'all remember when those people long ago, if you're old enough, and even if you're young, they put the stick on your shoulder. Yeah. You understand me? Mm -hmm. Well, if you knock that stick off, then the fight starts. <laughs> or if you cross this line, the fight started. Uh, now, I'm going to put this stick on your shoulder, and, and when I knock it off, the fight started. He put the stick on my shoulder, I lit him up. I got as many punches as I could. You hey, you touched me. Don't touch me not. Right. Touch me not. In the same way we need to be about the devil, touch me not. Yeah. Touch In the name of Jesus, the 13th verse. And Joshua discomforted Amalek and his people with the edge of the sword. In doing and living for God, do we want the edge of the sword of the world? No. We want to let go and let God. Yeah. And when trouble come our way, what do we need to do? Do we need to stay in trouble? No. No, we need to run. Right. Run for your life. Run for your life. And hands, when you hold up your hands, you let go of all the troubles that you have. Yeah. All those problems you have, you let them go. When you hold up those hands, you surrender into God. Hallelujah. You believe it in His Word. Yeah. You trust in Him to help you to make it to the next day. Yeah. I don't care if it's a bill. When you hold those hands up, God's going to bless you. Amen. I don't care if it's a person. When you hold those hands up, God's going to bless you. Amen. And if you want somebody, if you want something, you just have to let go and let God, and God will lead it to you. Amen. Sometimes, God will lead something to you, and it's right before your face, and you can't even see it. My God. How many times? How many times you were, were enjoying the company of a person? And this person will be eloquent in the Bible or eloquent in life. And you find out about and you keep discounting them. You keep getting away from them. Mm -hmm. And you wonder, Lord, I've been praying for them. I've been praying for her. And I don't know where they are. Mm -hmm. And they're right in that church. They're right on your job. 
They're right next door. The pot of gold is right there and you don't even know. My Lord. That's why you have to pray and believe and trust in God. Pray and believe in his word. I wish I had the projector so we could show, imagine if you would, how Moses had his hands up and how all the devils were trying to do everything they could to defeat Moses, but Moses held his hand and he believed and trusted in God. Yeah. Remember when he opened the Red Sea? Yeah. You remember when he did that? Yeah. Now, we imagine when Moses holds those hands up and he opened that water, the Red Sea if you would, we would think that they're walking on mud. Is that correct? Yes. But guess what? You know God is God. You know he's a real God. The Bible said that when they walk, they walk what? On oh, dry ground. Oh, dry ground. Yes, it was no mud. Right. It was no moisture. It was dry. Amen. And then what happened when the devil thought that he could get Moses and kill him? Mm -hmm. What happened? Once all of the children of God crossed the water, mm -hmm. and when Pharaoh tried to cross after them, what happened? Every last one of them drowned. Now the movie said that all of them drowned but Pharaoh. Mm -hmm. But did y'all know Pharaoh died too? Amen. That's right. Pharaoh died too. So I don't know what it is that you're going through in your life. Yes. But I know one thing. If you let God go in your life, you keep continuing to believe and trust in his word. Yes, yes. Keep continuing to believe and trust in him. Yes. Guess what? He's going to be there for you. Amen. And what do you do when trouble comes? You run. When trouble comes, you run. On my way over here, all kinds of things happen to me. Wow. I was trying to build, uh, you know, the stage and all that stuff. That, you know, all the... Uh, Shoot, the wood was messing up. The drill was messing up. I was getting tired. I almost fainted. But I said, Lord, I'm, I, I didn't stop. I kept going. Yes, yes, and then on my way here, the devil started to attack me on every hand. And I said to myself, I'm not going to stop. I'm going to keep going. Amen. Amen. And then you would not believe this. You would not believe this. Lord, have mercy. I'm here driving. To temptation. Amen. 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 Lead us not. And she walking, she had no clothes on. Oh, Lord. No clothes. To me, it's no clothes. No clothes and, and I tell my folk, I said, look, let me tell you something. I want you to wear long dresses. Mm -hmm. I want you to wear stockings. Amen. You don't give it. You don't need no makeup because I don't need no woman with makeup on. <laughs> not to say anything wrong with makeup. I think nothing wrong with it. Understand me here. I'm not trying to pick no different doctrine. <laughs> I'm talking about my wife. I'm not talking about 
your wife. You do what you want in your house, ain't nothing wrong with it. Let's clear the slate. Let's do it right. My wife, I'm not talking about yours. If I'm going to dress like this, cover everything, Amen. do you know I work in 106 and 103 degrees? Mm -hmm. And I've been working like this for years. I have my, yeah, I'm going to wear my mask. Well, I have my mask on, right? My glasses, have my hat on, and I have a long sleeve that goes all the way down here. Yes, sir. I have uh, my gloves on, you see what I'm saying? I have long pants on. Then I have a ballistic uh, uh, reflective vest on, you see what I'm saying? And every day, I go to work like that. Sometimes, I get out of my truck in 100 feet of the weather, I don't take my shirt off, <laughs> that shirt stay on. <laughs> I don't take my glasses off. I might take take sweat off, but I put it back on. Right. I keep my hat on. That's right. Because the thing is, I'm gonna be modest. Amen. You can't preach modesty if you're not modest. Amen. And you know those workers, those workers see how they've been seeing it for years. The way I, and you know what? They asked me. I said, "Why you?" I said, "Because I want to. First of all, I want to be modest, and next of all, I want to protect myself." That's right. You know those jokers. I went to work like three weeks ago. Three weeks ago, and I saw this. Every last one of them had long sleeves on. Every last one. Of them. Yes. They had their glasses on, masks, and help. Everything. You hear me? Gloves, everything. Amen. They were covered. Yeah. Because they saw me. And they caught me. Amen. Amen. You know, you could make a difference. Although you think you can't, you can make a difference in this world. And you got to take a stand. Amen. I tell people. I said, I'm going to preach the word of God. I don't care if there's one person in the room. I'm going to preach the word of God. Yes. I don't care if it's just rocks. You don't hear what I'm saying. Amen. If it's just chairs around, I'm going to preach to that chair. Amen. God said, I need to speak. I'm going to speak. Amen. God said that I was called to preach his word. And that's what I'm going to do. Amen. Now, I'm asking you. Guess what? She let me out and I took off. 
Now the world and the lust will tell you, well, brother, that was a beautiful lady. What about that? Mm -hmm. I serve a beautiful God. Yeah. Let me tell you something. When you on your knees, you yes. meditate, you praying and believing in God. Do you know this world is nothing? Amen, amen. I'm serious. That's right. This world is really nothing. When you on your knees and, and look, let me tell you something. Let me give you a lesson. Lead us not into temptation. Yes, lead us. That's a key. But what does that mean? Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna let you lead tonight mm -hmm. until you know what that word. Lead us not into temptation. Yeah. You ever played hide and go seek? You know, I'm a count to ten. And then when I get to ten, I'm going to start running after you. And then I'm going to catch you. Well, as they count to ten, I'm standing there. I ain't going nowhere. And they said, oh, I'm going to get you. I said, no, you're not, because I'm not playing the game. You go get the other people. <laughs> I'm not playing. You can say what you want to say, but I'm not playing. You can play with yourself. You touch me, you might get knocked out. You touch me, you're going to get in trouble. You better go touch somebody else. And that's what you got to tell that devil. Yes. And, 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 and when you say, Lord, lead us not to temptation, when temptation comes, you run. Yeah, That's what you do. You run. Yeah, you don't let temptation stare you in the face and let you fall and sin and cause you to go to the devil's hell. Yeah. You run. Yeah. When that temptation comes, you run. Yeah. I, was re I remember when I was driving a truck, and I'm about to close y'all because I'm going to leave y'all with this. I was driving a truck all over the world. Mm -hmm. And I even told Pastor, Ryan about this and I went into the store and I saw this lady. She she had long legs and she had something dressed and, and then she looked at me and I looked at her and uh and I just had fear in my stomach. I had fear. And then as soon as I felt that fear, I ran back to my truck. I got in and I started praying. And I prayed and I prayed and I asked the Lord, who was that girl? And the Lord told me that girl, when you saw her, she was temptation. Right. But if you would have communicated with her, mm -hmm. and she would have communicated with you, that temptation was adultery. Oh, you don't understand what I'm saying. Yeah. And I asked Pastor Ryan, I said, Pastor Ryan, why did, and then he, he said, it could have been that. We, we talked about this, and, but I, it never happened to me. Right. It, that never happened to me before like that. Right. But you know, I knew when to run. Right. When when you when you feeling something in your stomach and you 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 go the other way, get out of there! Don't stay there! Don't stay there! Believe, continue to believe and trust in God. Hands up! Believe and trust in God. Hands up! When fornication comes your way, trust in God. Let go, let go. Hands up! When temptation come on, don't stay in the midst of temptation. Leave it. Leave it. Where is that? Yes, and when the devil come, you tell the devil, I'm not playing that game. Amen. You go play with somebody. Amen. Jesus. Amen. Jesus. That's the right. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. 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 For ministering to us. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And everybody, at some point, you're going to have a temptation in your life. You have to pray. Thank you, Jesus. Lead us not into temptation. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus. These are the points. Lead us not into temptation. Yes, Lord. Run. And then, you know, you're going to get back to the place where God can use you. Jesus. Raise your hands. Amen. 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 Yes. 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 And keep up raised. Yes, Lord. Oh, oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The amazing thing about the thank raising and the lifting of hands yes. thank you, Jesus. is that it is for surrender. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Surrender thank to you. the Lord. Thank yes, Jesus. It is for worship. Thank, thank you, Lord. You're saying, 
I worship you, O oh God. Yes, Lord. I'm not worshiping nothing else. Yes, Jesus. I worship you, O oh God. You are my king. You are my God. You're the one I trust in. You're the one I lean on. You're the one I believe to do everything that I need. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. We want to make a, a call for prayer. If there's anyone who desire prayer right now, hallelujah, we want to pray for you. You need strength from the Lord. You need a restoration and renewal. We want to make an altar call. Hallelujah. And we want to just be here just one moment, but let me just say this. It is very important that as churches we don't get away from the call to the altar. Yes, amen. 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 Glory to God. I went to Apostolic Church in Chicago. And uh, I was expecting something that I never got. Thank you, Jesus. Beautiful church. Thank you, Jesus. Gorgeous. One of the biggest churches I've ever been in in my life. Thank you, Jesus. The minister spoke. Thank you, Lord. He was a doctor of the scripture and the law. Spoke very Thank you, Jesus. eloquently. Thank you, Jesus. At the end of the service, he spoke into the camera. Yes, Lord. Are y'all with me? They closed that service and didn't ask nobody if they wanted to be saved, healed, delivered, nothing. <laughs> Dismissed everybody out the door. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, my God. Yes, Lord. We can never be in any place Jesus. if we would rather be an apostolic church. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you. I know if it was to, to, to give some thought to it, we were in a time of COVID. And they were spacing the seats and everything. Yes, Lord. But if we're going to have church, we've got to have church. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. Glory to God. Okay. So it's time for us to pray. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Is anyone Lord. desires us to lay hands on them? Thank you, Lord. Because we want to. You need the Holy Ghost, you can come right now. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. You need a deliverance and touch in your life, you can come right now. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. We we have time to pray. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Glory. That's why I came here, y'all. I drive a thousand miles to just get in church and leave on out. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Let's everybody stand. I want to pray for you. We want to give some more instructions before we go. Thank you, Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. We thank you for the word of God. We thank you for Pastor Ernest Lemon who brought us the word. Oh Lord God, who ministered to us, testified. Oh Lord God, and spoke to our heart. Hallelujah. We pray, Lord Jesus, that you would continue to bless. Bless the man of God. And bless, Lord God, every soul in this room. We might be what you're calling for us to be in this last and evil hour. Help us to walk in victory. And Lord, we'll forever magnify and glorify your name. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You can be seated for one moment. We're going to give some instructions. Glory to God on how we're proceeding on tomorrow. Praise the name of the Lord. We're thankful. Hallelujah to be here. As you all remember last year, our theme was the call. This year is prophets in preparation. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. And the Lord give us more for our vision. Amen. And we're having another day. Yes. Amen. Amen. It was one night. Glory to God. That was great. We should have did two or three. <laughs> Hallelujah. But the Lord knew what we could do and he blessed it. And Thank the Lord. I heard Pastor Robert, he was telling me there are people still talking about that service. Amen? Amen. And 
They push him past the rabbit. They push him. <laughs> Amen? Amen. Amen. Glory. Yeah, that's what they say. That's Robert's going to start his church. <laughs> now, how in the world they saying all that? <laughs> because they were able to come to one service. My God. My God. That's right. Isn't that something? Amen. Glory to God. On tomorrow, one of the things the Lord spoke to my spirit is, there may be some people outside. I might have to have one person from time to time that would be outside of the room. And people walking by, then you could tell them, hey, look, if you want to come in, you come in. Amen? Amen. 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 Because most of the time, these meetings in here are exclusive. Right, right. <laughs> it's only for the people that got the room. Right. Amen. But that's not in this case. Amen? Amen. Amen. So so tomorrow we have one person that, that just know how to talk to somebody and say, hey look, you know, we're having a service and I see you walking around wondering what's going on. Come on in and see. Amen. 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 Um, I don't know if any of y'all saw the movie. The Chosen. Yeah. I said, this is awesome. When Jesus came in the movie, and Philip went to call Nathaniel from the scripture, he said, come and see. He just kept saying that. Come see. Come see. He was talking to him. Philip just was talking. He said, come see. Come see. My God. Come and see. That's what we need to tell people today. Amen. Come and see. For them to see that Jesus is good. Amen. Amen. And he's the answer. Amen. He's the answer. Jesus is the answer. Amen. Not our government, not our career, Amen. not Jesus. our educational system, not, not the president, the leaders, and all of the stuff that they tell you. Jesus is the answer. Amen. 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 Praise the name of the Lord. So that's what we need people to do, to say. Glory to God. Pastor Ernest, and I've been saying this to any time you're going to do anything for the Lord, you have a fight on your hands. Yes. Amen. You have a battle. Oh, yes, yes, yes. yes. Well, guess what? God has given you everything to win. Amen. Yes. He's given you all that you need. Amen. No matter what. Amen. Glory to God. And guess what? God will make a way. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Okay. Tomorrow. Let me get this right here. Praise the Lord. Pastor Ernest brought his wife. His white carpet here. Amen. Poor Amen. Pastor Ernest is tight. <laughs> Looking smooth and dabbing down. <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But me and, me and Pastor Ernest talked and we said, what we do, this is our uniform. Amen? Amen. Amen. <clears throat> this is our uniform. This is how we work. Amen. Amen. For the Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. On Friday, we have, uh, which we had today, our prayer and worship service, in which uh, we had our speaker, Pastor Ernest. Tomorrow, 9 o'clock in the morning, we're going to have prayer from 9 to 10. At 10 a.m., um, our lesson is going to be on church accounting and campus ministry from First Lady Lisa Tillery. And 10.30, it's going to be a soul winning for churches, Pastor Lenore Tillery. At 11 a.m. to 11.30, it's going to be spiritual warfare. And this is going to be myself as, as the speaker. And at 11.30 to 12, we're going to be talking about the science and the art of preaching. Bishop Rodney S. Lemon will be our speaker. At 12, we're going to have lunch and be back for 7 p.m. worship. Okay. Yeah. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Let's come and ourselves accordingly. We look forward to having everyone here in prayer at 9 o'clock. Amen. 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 Praise Amen. the name of the Lord. Remember, we're building our spiritual 
equity. Amen. Sweat equity. Thank you, Jesus. Still not going to talk about that yet. We'll see about it tomorrow. Yeah. Amen. 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 If we can all stand. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. May his peace be with you. Thank you, Lord. Till we meet again. May his peace be with you till we meet again. Till we reach that distant shore where we'll shed a tear no more. May he give you strength to endure till we meet again. Father, in the name of Jesus, we give you thanks and praise. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for this body of believers yes. that have come to be here and worship and praise. Oh, Lord God, we give you thanks and praise for every soul here. We pray, Lord God, that you would have your way in our life. Help us, Lord God, as we continue in this conference to be sensitive to your move, to your hand, to what you want us to do, what you want us to be. Lord, we'll forever magnify your name. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. Yes, Lord. The Lord cause his face to shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. Yes, Lord. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and yes, give thee peace. Yes, Everybody say it in Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord with your brother and your sister. Say God bless you.